Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new Primark haul video. This month, my goodness, we had a lot of newness in store. If you've seen the Come Shop With Me, which I will link on the screen here and down below, we had the whole Rita Aura new drop for April 2024. It actually came out in March, I believe, but most of it only came into store at the beginning of April. So we headed down on the 1st of April. I showed you everything that was new in. If you want to see that video, it is live now. I did go a bit ham on the collection and I've been reading your comments in the Come Shop With Me and a lot of you, there's very mixed reviews on the Rita Ora collection. People are quite excited for the pastels and the florals and loving all of that. And other people are saying it looks like it was designed by a 12 year old. I honestly can see both sides of the coin here but I ended up picking up quite a few things from the Rita Ora collection plus just some bangers that I thought that were in store. So without further ado I'm gonna jump straight in and show you probably one of my favorite pieces and it's a basic that Primark have come out with. If you watched last month's haul I picked this up in black and white but I never seen that they did a nude. I've got a similar colored bodysuit to this that is from Forever 21 and it's honestly nearly broken for the amount of times it's gone through the wash and it looks so worn down. I was so excited to see this. It's a beautiful beige stone colour and of course it's one of those seamless skim style bodysuits. It was only £7. I got mine in a size medium and what I love about it too is as you can see in there this is double lined so if you want to wear it without a bra then the likelihood is you can if you feel confident enough to because there's just that little bit of built-in support. So very happy with this. I kept the black, I kept the white and now I've got this beautiful stone colour. I actually didn't grab this on this trip. I grabbed it the night before I was going to the airport to go to Benidorm. I did a full Benidorm vlog and it was so much fun. So if you want to watch it, I will also link that in the screen here. It's one of those you can just kick back, have a cup of tea and just really enjoy and feel like you're on that little journey with me. And we do a big surprise in that video. Anyway, I only had hand carry only and I didn't know what the weather was going to be like. So I bought this black hoodie. I've been meaning to get one for a while. It was only eight pounds and I got it in a size medium. Holiday shop. Now, you'll know I wasn't all that excited about it. It's giving me M&S vibes. It's giving me Next vibes. It wasn't what I was expecting. However, there was some hidden gems within all of it, of which I think this item was one of them. I do very excitingly have a very big holiday booked for June. It's gonna be a multi-trip holiday, but hopefully it'll be a very hot holiday. So lots of swimsuits, lots of bikinis, and therefore we're going to need beach cover-ups. I've seen this. It's definitely gonna be easier for me to show you on the try-on clip, but this gave me proper Zara vibes. It's got that sort of rope built into it, where it goes along here and then you've even got the tie-ups on the side. I don't know why, but I love it when anything has this rope. It just automatically feels tropical and beachy to me. I didn't quite realize how thin this was. It is really, really thin. Well, you can see from how you can see through to my lights, by the way ignore the ring light, my head's supposed to be covering that. <laughs> my ceiling light is broke and I just need that extra bit of light in here, believe it or not. Even though I've got the most insane light set up, I must have about 25 bulbs in here. You can see that it's quite thin. I'm excited to try this on. I hope it looks good. Oh no, I got it in a size large. Why did I do that? I feel like this does look too big, but then again, can these ever be too big? This one was 15 pounds as well. Little bit steep considering it's basically see-through material, however, We'll see if it looks good. I just wanted to show this one as a cutaway clip because I put my bikini on underneath and obviously you can just barely see through. I think I'm gonna take this back and get a medium because it's so cute. I tightened up these sides so it has cinched it in a bit but it is way too big at the top, like this is overflowing. But I am 100% gonna change this to a medium because it is so cute. I was interested to see what color these would be when I got home. Why do these look tiny now? You'll know my battle with Primark shorts. I get extremely angry about their sizing. These now look like they're made for children. Anyway, in store I was a bit worried these were like a lemon yellow and the more I'm looking at it the more my brain's fooling me that maybe they are. However, I think these are a very light cream. Again, they've got that rope detail. I really, really liked this and I liked the paper bag waist. I've always liked a paper bag waist. Possibly thinking these are not gonna fit. I, I don't know how bizarre that is. I could be in store and I thought it was okay because I got these in a size 14, so I upsized by one. But shorts in Primark, nine times out of 10, I will buy a 16 just to be comfortable. So 
you would be seeing now or you would have seen that yeah these are either going to be good or not good and they were 14 pounds i think this is the last item i picked up that wasn't in the rita aura collection i did go a bit ham with the rita aura collection however i'm expecting half of it to not look very nice so i was like if i buy a lot then i'll probably get some good stuff between it i spotted these style of dresses in store now this pattern is a bit loud for me so it might not be something that when it's on i love but i was going to give it a go i upsized in it again because they look like they ran quite small. I got a 14 and it was 14 pounds. They had these in quite a few different prints, all very, very loud, but also very spring summery. This one's more universal and it, it basically is a remake of the Zara dress. You'll know if you're Zara fans, that dress that they came out with in loads of different prints and colors. It did have a rope tie belt in the Zara one. However, this one's just got fabric. But I thought this reminded me of that and it's such an easy dress to wear all season and round in winter and autumn with tights and just on its own in spring and summer so picked this one up out of the choices because there was some very loud colors rita aura x primark what did you all think of this collection the first thing i'm going to show you is actually a very tame number considering some of the wild prints and patterns and styles we see in the collection but i spotted this bodysuit i absolutely love a good white bodysuit and i really liked the look of this one i think it looks like it's going to frame the chest really nice obviously it's got this built-in metal v there as well and actually I didn't even notice when i was in store it is also double lined it's these spaghetti straps but almost chunky spaghetti straps it kind of does look like a swimsuit and it's kind of that fabric it's a, it's a very different to the other one i showed you the first one's more like cotton this is more like a very thin neoprene and i mean very thin because we'll have to see if this is see-through i'm half expecting us to see that line when i try it on where the bando is that's in there i was impressed with the price on this one it was only eight pounds i feel like considering it is the collaboration and it's just got that little touch on it they probably would have charged more i showed the clip to my mum of this dress and she was like that looks like a night dress and i'm like i kind of see what you're saying but i also i'm also very curious not to mention this is a very flamboyant night dress if that is the case uh rita came out with a lot of dresses in this collection i happened to see this one on instagram styled by her and i do love a floral print as much as i like my simple clean aesthetic with my neutrals and keeping everything quite minimal sometimes a ditzy floral or a floral print just gets me so if you fancy that <laughs> this is quite a loud yellow and orange dress cool though because it's got these sheer panels again it'd be better to be showing you on this try on clip but down at the bottom as well it's almost asymmetric the straps are adjustable and i got this one in a size 16 only because this material is used a lot in the collection and that is why i upsized because this material is not forgiving at all this was 25 pounds now I don't really know how I feel about that. It will all depend how lovely or not lovely it looks on, whether it's worth that price. Is this the other dress? Yeah, okay, oh, this is the next long dress and then I think I picked up a shorter one. But this fabric, so I've seen this in the upstairs section. So if you do watch the Come Shop With Me and wonder where this is, it's later on in the video. This is what the dress looks like. This print is really quite nice. I do like this oriental style print. The only thing is I can see this being quite popular and literally everyone. <laughs> it and everyone knowing where it's from but it's a ruche style dress again another one that's very hard to show you off screen here so i'll put a clip of me trying it on as i would have done with everything else and as you know if you don't see a try on clip it means something didn't fit or it just didn't work but this has actually got a high split in it and then it's got these lovely almost like jellyfish tentacle tassels there's a couple of them here so that could look really really nice i do genuinely think this could be a beautiful dress for summer and like nighttime beach dinners oh. hmm. and in my opinion this one a lot more reasonably priced reasonably priced excuse me 18 pounds for this one not 25 while we're on that print i'll show you the other items that i got these are both tops and i couldn't decide between the two so i just picked them both up because like i said i'm counting on some of this stuff not working this is the first one so it's just basically a top version of the dress it's a little bandeau it doesn't have the halter necktie 
and it's very sheer. It's hard to show you here, but there is a double layer, but it's just a double layer of the sheer. So you would most likely 100% have to wear this with a simple bandeau underneath or a strapless bra. But it's got a little cinch up again. So like the dress, ruches is up. This has just got a little side ruche. I think that's adorable. Is this adjustable? It's not adjustable. Thought that could be a nice piece to throw on as well for the warmer months, 10 pounds. And then this one I think was my favorite. If I had to choose, I probably would have chose this one and again this material I think this is the most used material in the collection my goodness gracious me I didn't realize how many tassels there were it's just this top here I've had tops like this quite similar from like boohoo and pretty little things so they've taken inspiration from that in Rita Ora's last collection from it was obviously a winter collection it was last time lots of blacks lots of reds lots of greys uh, but the one thing she's kept consistent is all of the frills and tassels I love the sleeves it looks like I need to do some tying up here but they've also got those sort of like jellyfish tentacle tassels. I'm probably gonna have to style this just with like a little black spaghetti strap crop top underneath because I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna wear it because as you can see it's like gapped in between but you would have seen by now anyway and this one was also 10 pounds. I forgot that I got this set okay who did I think I am there is nine chances out of ten that this is going back but it could also look cute. I do this for a living, guys, okay? I'm just taking a punt. I'm doing it for you all so you don't have to buy it if it looks silly on me. They did this set. Now, it is, again, a sort of sheer material, but as you can see, like snake print in a Barbie pink. Lots more tassels, jellyfish tassels, and this one is a proper halter neck, so it does sit like a triangle on your neck. I think this top actually on its own has potential to look lovely, but I did grab the matching skirt, and I think this actually is a skirt yes it is so just looks like this lots of tassels and then you've even got a tail little tassel tail there as well the skirt was 12 pounds and the top was 10 pounds so a 22 pound set you'll be seeing it on me now and as i said give me some credit where credit's due i just had a little moment of like We've got to give this a go, but I was not expecting much. <laughs> the final two pieces from the Rita Ora Primark collection is, again, the same material, but in different items. I'll start off with the dress because I really liked this. I thought it was cute. It does look like your nan's night dress, potentially. You can't deny it's a very spring print. Now, what you probably won't be able to see by me holding it up is how it's sort of patchworked styled. So there is a piece of material as the top, and then there's a sort of asymmetric design that's going on at the bottom here. I'm hoping it'll be a bit more evident when you can see it on me, but this was 16 pounds and it is a very light piece of material, you know, this is, not too much for your money, but they have been consistent in doing that little double layer in there as well. So you can wear these pieces potentially freely. And the bottom is also kind of asymmetric. So one side is longer than the other. And of course, the other item that I picked up was the top version of this. This was actually the first item I put in my basket. This is 12 pounds, which I find a little bit bizarre considering the dress is only four more pounds expensive. I don't feel that that pricing is correct. And the top, just like the other long dress and top that matched, are basically like a mini version of it. So it's got the same design with that one asymmetric longer side. Uh, but in a top. I had to get this in a medium because they either had medium or double XL and that was going to be too big So I picked up the medium, but I think this I think this is going to be a little bit small I would have ideally got a large because of this fabric again So that is all the fashion that I picked up in Primark and I've now got a few accessories and home bits and shoot one pair of shoes that is just do you know what? I'm going to start with the shoes because I'm just so happy that I got them. I actually ended up grabbing these the same time I ran in to get that black zip-up hoodie for my travels. And I went upstairs and something just said to me, buy them now because they're not going to be there when you come back next time. And I had seen them multiple trips before and I thought, no, I'll get those closer to summer. No, I'll get those closer to summer. Thankfully, I didn't hold out. It is these beautiful golden shoes. I've told you guys many a times before, I love these heels from Primark. This block sandal heel, I have a pair that I have worn actually into the ground, like they are destroyed. So I thought it was time to replace them and I really loved this tie up detail. I've seen these shoes in a tan color as well. So I think I'm gonna grab them and I think a sage green I've also seen, but the gold are just beautiful. So they've got this tie up sort of sandal detail and then you can just wrap this round your ankle or you can put them up your legs, but they are so, 
so comfortable and I am so excited to wear these in these summer months and they were only £16. I say only, only because I know I love them and how much I adore them that they are good value for money, but they were 14 like the previous design that I bought of this a couple of years ago. So hello inflation. I got another pack of the trainer socks. I love these neutral ones. I've got like neutral trainers as you can see back there. So I actually like wearing matching socks to the color of my shoes. Do any of you guys do that? And you get seven pairs for three pounds. I then also just grabbed this bikini bottom uh, that is a white tie up side one and it just looked like a good bikini bottom it's got a little ruching on the back there I didn't realize it's quite so skimpy on the bum so I may return this but this was only four pounds I then have some items from Primark Beauty before I end on one item from Primark home I don't know why I do know why my mum convinced me on this one because she got one and she tested it and it just looked amazing this is the PS highlighter drops illuminating this is identical to the iconic London drops. They only had this color, which is why I'm thinking I might return it because it is so intense. It's the like pinky color one, if I come up and show you. It's like a pinky pearl color drops. If they had this in the golden version, I think that's what I would have got. I'm sure I've seen it before. So I'm probably gonna go back and exchange that for that one, but this was only three pounds. My mum swatched it on her hand and honestly, it is so intense. It's so sparkly, it's so nice. And you can mix this into your foundation or obviously use it as a highlighter. So three pounds, proper iconic dupe. I then picked up this packet of lashes, which are the PS 30 individual lashes, but I think, are they individuals or clusters? It looks like they're clusters. However, I have been on a bit of a lash journey that I'm so excited to share with you all that I came across on my own, no sort of like brand sponsorship or anything. Um, but yes, my lashes now, they're a little bit disheveled, but honestly, my lashes looked amazing for a long time and I did them myself at home and it was so easy. So I'll be sharing that all in a cozy home vlog very soon, honestly game changer. However, Primark do do them as well by the looks of it, and these are £1.50. The final item I got from Primark Beauty, or PS Beauty, I'm really excited about this. I haven't seen something like this on the shelves. I may have just been, I may have just missed it, but I really like it. I'm not excited about the element. This looks like a child's body spray, but this is part of their new shimmer collection and this packaging and stuff, they did a range. I think it's like the new summer stuff. This is the PS Shimmer Sea Salt Hair Texturizing Spray. And it says for beachy hair with nourishing coconut water and a prote protective UV filter. And it's coconut fragrance, but I've got to come in and show you. Can you see that shift? So there is loads of gold in here and it does settle at the bottom and then you have to give it a little um, shake. But I have a feeling this is going to be beautiful in the hair. I don't want to do it now because I've literally just washed my hair and obviously I don't want sea salt at the moment. We, we don't need beachy waves for this wonderful British weather we're having at the moment, unfortunately. But this will be coming on holiday with me. Well, I hope to try it first before it goes on holiday. But also, cruelty free, very happy. Kudos to Primark and PS Beauty for being all cruelty free. The final item to conclude this haul, I picked this up from Primark Home. And the Primark Home Come Shop With Me is actually, I'm a bit behind with it. I'm putting this one up first just because I know y'all wanna see the Primark Brita Aura collection and trying it on and stuff and you need to get in store if you want those. So I'm putting this up first, but the Primark Home is coming next week. I've been doing individual come shop with me because honestly there's so much stuff to show you. The only thing I picked up on this occasion is actually these 10 LED disco ball lights. They had them out in the shop and I just really like the way these look. We've got a garden bar that has been non-existent because we did it at the end of last year so we didn't get to enjoy it. So this year I'm going to be setting it up and you know really making it a proper setup and I thought these could be fun in there. So they are just battery operated. It says for indoor use only. They were only six quid and they just looked really fun. I thought they could be quite cool across the top of the bar. So yeah, again, if you wanna follow me on these journeys, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I do home vlogs all the time and I post on this channel three times a week. So we go to all the bargain stores, home bargains, Poundland, I do loads of Timu hauls. 
If that sounds like something that's up your street, then please stick around. It honestly makes my dreams come true. Also, follow me over on Instagram. I am going to be building this platform as well as my TikTok with a lot more snappy sort of on videos. So if you like this channel content, there is absolutely no reason you wouldn't love those platforms. Right, guys, that is going to conclude my Primark haul for April 2024. I hope you've taken some inspiration from this video. I'm going to go ahead and leave some videos on the screen here for you if you want to check out some more of my content. I would love to spend some more time with you. Thanks for being here if you've got all the way to the end. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao!